What's up everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another Bangarino and in today's weekly Chess Doctor video we are continuing the rapid episodes. Okay guys, today we got we are just gonna play some rapid chess as we usually do. So let's start with a 10 minute game. My rating is still at 900. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I hope soon I'm gonna fix it and at least get to a thousand, okay? Because I know I can. I, I have been there. I've been at uh, actually 1150. That was my peak in rapid. So if that was my... I blundered the pawn immediately. Okay, okay. I don't know how to punish that now, but let's just continue playing the Italian and pretend like as if this didn't happen. Okay, we just blundered an E pawn. Very solid, Kappa, very solid. <laughs> Guys, it's almost 2 a.m. for me right now, so maybe that's why I'm playing very sucky. I don't know, but still. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, we're blundering everything. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to go here threaten and hope. <laughs> then my opponent ain't gonna see that. Oh no. He sees it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even go anywhere with this horse. Oh my god, guys. We blundered a piece and a pawn in the first three moves. See, maybe that's why I'm stuck in the 900 elo already. For a very long time I have been stuck here, okay? And now I kind of know why. But we're just jumping around with the horse. We ain't gonna resign immediately just because we lost the bishop, even though maybe I should have and continued playing a new game, but I'm a fighter, okay? I'm a firefighter. So John Tracy Gambit, this is the this is the name. I can't even develop my horse. Okay, let's just castle then and pretend like as if none of this has happened. And it definitely did. <laughs> Okay, we can do that. Let's try and at least develop a horse. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a funny game. So welcome in, guys. I hope you've been doing well this week. I have been, you know, <laughs> playing stupid chess like this the whole time. But it's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't beat yourself up because you're losing in a game of chess. We should all just laugh it up. I, I think, you know. Just laugh it if it up. This is pretty much lost already, but let's try and do something like this. I don't think it's a good thing though, but at least we're gonna try, okay? At least we're gonna try. <clears throat> I think we should move my queen somewhere so that, so that my horses, uh, not horses, so that my rooks can, you know, move. So let's take this pawn and hope for the best, guys. Maybe they blunder mate in one. This is still a 900 elo, so that's why I don't resign. Because you never know what your opponent will blunder. Eventually, I will just go here and hope for the best, you know. Go here, go here and hope that I will mate them. And that they will be blind. So, fingers crossed, guys. Maybe that actually happens. We don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. If he takes my rook, it's over for him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're baiting him. We're baiting my opponent. Oh, my God. Are we going to do it? Take my rook, sir. Take it. Okay, it's completely free. Come on, just take it. Just take it. Okay, you win. <laughs> take it, sir. It's a free rook. Oh, sh okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna attack the queen, make her move. He can take this pawn. Hmm. And then still protect this, right? I mean, my bishop can't be taken. At least something. At least something. Now we just have to make a stalling move, I guess. So that he moves from the diagonal, okay? Just take it! It's another free pawn! Come on, sir! <laughs> okay, I am just here trying to do the dirtiest tricks ever. Eventually he will forget. Okay, he won't forget. Oh, come on, sir. Oh, come on, sir. 
Okay, we took this up and there's still plus five, which is which is resignable. Okay, now we resign because I'm I don't feel like playing this anymore. Okay, let's go for a new one. Let's go, guys. It is what it is, right? Okay, let's go. Game number two. Let's play them the Sicilian. And let's see what will happen in this one. Will I blunder all of my pieces again? Stay tuned to see, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, Alpin, Alpino, Jalapeno. Am I, am I supposed to take this? Guys, I don't really know. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this and not actually take it. Because if I take and he takes this pawn, like a pawn will still be here. And I don't really like that. So I'm gonna open up the bishop and defend this. In this game, I'm actually gonna think about my moves, okay? Unlike in the last one. Uh, okay, here I think we kind of have to take. And maybe, I mean, we didn't necessarily have to take, but now that we took it, there is no coming back, guys, okay? Think through your moves. Don't be like me. I'm kind of too hasty right now. Uh, but I didn't play chess in quite some time, and <laughs> because in my streams, I wasn't playing chess. I was doing other things. So I came here to film a video and to play chess now, so I gotta do this. And I'm kind of hurrying because I feel like I can do it, but I can't, okay? have to stop and think about the position actually because this is rapid okay time doesn't mean a lot in rapid so guys how have you all been this week i've been doing great uh, i have been streaming and i have been chilling so if you want to check out the streams kick.com slash kappa uh, and that's pretty much it no, nothing too extra happened in my life okay okay sir uh if i go here he will just push this and I will scream, but then I can do this. So that's actually not too bad. Let's bait him. Let's bait him. So we can actually take this pawn here, okay? And I think that's pretty fine. Okay. Alpin, I rarely encounter this. I usually find Smith Moras happening against me, okay? A bunch of Smith Moras on the board. Okay, so he's now attacking this twice and I'm defending it once. So if I push here and like I push, he takes, I take, he can't take because I take, but uh, do I necessarily want that? I'm not really sure, but still, or should I just place the bishop here, guys? Oh my God, I wish somebody was here next to me right now to tell me which is a better, but of course I have to decide it myself. So I'm gonna push the pawn. I'm gonna push the pawn, okay? I probably should have gone with the bishop and develop it, but I like to push my pawn, so let's push it. Let's let's push it. And we still can't castle, so we have to work on our development. We can go here now so that we kind of unpin ourselves, which could also be a good thing. Because I really don't want to be in this pin situation okay it's kind of sucky it's kind of like not my cup of tea you know sir so we're gonna develop in castle probably because this Sicilian is not working out as I planned it's definitely not going as planned so we are gonna we are gonna just castle up on the king side probably I don't have a necessarily any type of plan I really hate how good ho uh, his horses are Connecting to like uh, with each other Okay, so I can choose to take this one or this one. I don't have to take any of them But I think I will I Can take this one with a check so he will go here Or I can take this one and he just takes I think I will just take this one honestly Because it's a check and it's like forcing the Queen here and I don't really know why do I want her there, but maybe I'm thinking this later. So that's why I kind of went with that one. Uh, but I'm not sure, not sure how am I going to get rid of this one, okay? <laughs> Both of these horses are problematic, but we're going we're gonna to figure it out, guys, okay? We're going to El Figurado it out, though, you know? We're definitely going to try, at least. So this one is kind of, you know, making me nervous. 
that's, uh, that's I think the, the correct uh, way to say this. It's definitely making me nervous. So let's ask the queen a question now. And this is a weird position, guys. This is weird. This is weird, 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 but we are attacking a higher priority piece. So they have to move, they have to move now. So at least that, at least that's what we got out of this, but I am not sure. Like he can, he can't move on this diagonal at least, okay? So I think I will be, I will be chilling, but still, I think he can go like with something like this. And then if we trade this up, my horse is fallen. But he did not do it. Okay, he is looking here, but currently he is not, okay? Should I castle queen side or king side, guys? I don't think I will castle just yet. I think I will go with B pawn, okay? I don't know why, my intuition just told me, kappa B, B5, okay? So we're gonna B5. We're gonna B5 and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm not really sure where he's gonna go. Uh, and he attacked me bishop. He attacked me bishop. We can attack his queen now. Back once again for the renegade master. Let's attack his queen. <clears throat> and let's just see what will happen. This is a weird position, man. This is truly a 2 a.m. A 2 a playing chess position, I guess. <laughs> this is so weird, okay? My pawns are all over the place. I mean, these pieces are kind of holding each other, but for how long? My queen is kind of misplaced. She's staring at my pawn that's going absolutely nowhere. Ugh, I'm not really a big fan of my position, but still it's much better than the last game, okay? So I'm kind of making this person at least think a little bit and wasting their time by making moves like this. So at least something, at least something. And now he is looking at, okay, nothing. And I think I will go here and then try to go here, sneak my bishop in. And if he trades here, I'm fine with that because that's another tempo move. So I think we're chilling now. I mean, equal position. That's like the wildest thing that you can play, you know, especially in the beginner games. Like, I don't know. I don't know why, why do we get into these positions, okay? Equal positions are really torturous. Honestly, it's more fun for me to play down a piece because at least I, then I know like I lost or something. But like this. Okay, let's check the potential of our pieces. My queen is so bad, man. Okay. My queen is so super bad. I don't know what is she doing. Or what is she cooking? Where is she looking? I'm not really sure. He wants to trade these pawns, okay? Should we let him have it? Well, I can go here. Because if he takes, I take, and then he takes, and then I can... Oh, no, I can't take, because he has a bishop here as well. Okay, so we just made a move that does absolutely nothing. But okay, okay, we gave them one pawn. Hasta la vista, bebe. We gave them the pawn. We truly gave them the pawn. And where can I even jump? What can I do? Should I ask them a question here? Okay, let's ask them a question. Guys, I'm not a big fan of my position, okay? This bishop wasn't even developed and it's doing more business than my bishop that I moved three times, okay? So that's crazy. But now we ask him, do you want to trade or not? So... Let's see, if they want to trade, I'm fine with that. If they don't, I'm fine with that, you know. I am just severely confused about what's happening in this game. But they don't want to trade. They don't want to trade. So they just gave me the bishop? Wait. They truly just gave me the bishop. Am I blind? Yeah, they just gave me the bishop. Okay, okay, so just ask a couple of questions, guys, and 
Eventually the opponent will give up the piece, I guess. <laughs> is that what chess is all about? Okay, we can move the king, no problem, sir. I wasn't actually planning on castling whatsoever, so... I am fine with that. We can also win this pawn probably now because we have already prepared our queen and a rook. So yeah, we can do that right now. Yeah, we will do that probably. Let's see whether or not they will trade. Uh, but I have to be careful, okay? I have to be careful because he is blocking me here. So one rook here and I'm dead. So I think I have to try this. I am not really sure how this will work, okay? Uh, hmm. Wait, did I just lose? No, okay, I have time to move that way. <laughs> I have time to move that way, actually. It's, this is not a check yet, so... If it checks me, I just go here. But... Then he goes here, but I can just defend like this. Okay, sir. By the way, this is a free rook. Why didn't I take, oh no, it wasn't. Because my queen, king was in front of my rook, see? Sir, I'm blind, I'm blind. But we are up a piece, so we just have to be careful. We have to triple up our pawns here if he trades, because if I take with king, he just takes my freaking rook, okay? So we gotta be very careful. Extra saucy careful and triple up my pawns. That's disgusting. Okay, this is disgusting, guys. This is wild. Okay, you take my tripled up pawns. I don't really care, sir. But he even can't because now I'm looking at this. Okay, my tripled pawns are, I mean... I mean, they're doing wonders right now. <laughs> okay, so I have a bishop and a horse against the horse. They have tripled pawns. He has tripled pawns like this. Very interesting game. Very interesting position. I think I will just jump here and like attack this. Because like, what else should I do? Wait, where is he cooking? He want to go there? Okay, I will then jump here, so that I defend that square, okay? Knowledge, guys, knowledge, knowledge. Okay, we're gonna push our pawn then as well. Because what else are we supposed to do? And mating with a bishop and a knight is something that I think is a, like 2k level. So we ain't gonna try to do that. We're gonna actually just try and win this pawn and promote towers or something okay we do have more time yeah let's just block him let's just block him ippity up okay you ain't gonna move sir he can't take any of my pawns that's funny that's funny we should just promote this one then okay okay we can't do that yet we have to go like here and then, prom then push him up, okay? Logic. Okay, I think we're winning this one just because my opponent has less time than I do, okay? Okay, I will push my pawn. I think I, I am free to do that. So let's do it, let's do it. If it goes here, I will happily take, you know, I will happily take all of these pawns because my pawns were triple and that's not very good. Okay, we can push this because my horse is defending that square. So that's pretty bussing. Also, if, he, if his horse stays here, we can just go here. So I think this is, this was pretty chill. Okay, yeah, I have to go here now, right? 
so that I can push him here. I think I can push this up. I think I can push this through, guys. If I lose this pawn, I'm gonna scream. Even though I'm still gonna be like plus three, I'm still gonna scream because I feel like this is my only way. Cause like, what, what are these pawns? What is this king? What is this, you know? This is my only hope, my D pawn. My precious D pawn, okay? I'm not sure how he will stop this. Like what, give the horse? Yeah, I'm not sure how my opponent will stop this. So I think we want this one, okay? They're pretty much losing time here. Losing, losing the time. So, okay, sir, I'm gonna go for promotion. Good luck. Okay, I think that this was a desperate move made by my opponent because now there is absolutely no way they can they can get to me. Okay, they resigned! They lost 12 points! But weren't they higher rate? Oh yeah, they were higher rated. A little bit, okay? They lost 12 points because they played against me, guys. That's crazy, okay? Let's check the game review of this game. And we're gonna also check the game review of the previous game because that one was funny. I really wanna see, like, do I have 12% accuracy or 15? Uh, my bets are on 15, okay? So let, let's get to that game so we can review it. There is a lot of daily games, guys, on my account. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot of pina colada, okay? Let's first check the marvelous first game, okay? Let's see, let's see. What's the accuracy, guys? Ooh, la 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 la. Bl bringing your queen out too early can lead to blunders. Okay, we have 75% accuracy in the first game, which is, which is, I mean, what? I blundered everything in the beginning. And they tell me my estimate is like, what did they say? My estimate ELO is 1300. Why is my ELO estimate 1300? I played the worst game of my life. Okay. Okay, we just gave everything here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why is this 1300 ELO. I am not really sure, but I guess I was out of options, so that's why I have a bunch of excellent and best moves because I had nothing else to do, okay? What should I have done here? Let's see. Go there? Okay, I would never find this move. I could have tactically won a knight, okay, and here I resigned, okay? So let's see game number two. Okay, 81% accuracy for me. They're telling me 1550. Well, let me let me show you this. Let me show you this. Okay, guys, eighteen hundred and fifty. That's very nice. Okay, that is very nice. And uh, the uh, accuracy eighty one point one, which is pretty nice. Sicilian. I mean, whenever I play this opening, I win, even though I don't know what I'm doing ever. Yeah, he could have just gone here. I did not notice that and neither did they. Okay, I'm so happy they didn't because otherwise I would lose a horse and lose my nerves. But like this, it was a pretty solid game, you know. We asked the queen some questions. Yeah, this was a blunder. I mean, not a blunder, mistake or whatever. And here they just gave the bishop, which was very surprising. And uh, then we traded here, and I was fine with that because I'm up. And here I had just perfect time to move out of the danger. So we took up, tripled up our pawns, and we eventually won the game by tripling up our pawns. So guys, you don't necessarily have to always think about your pawns being perfect, you know? You can even win with triple pawns like I did here, okay? And this was just like very easy because there's no way to stop the promotion and I will make a queen and that will just 
soon, uh, as they say here, you're threatening to force an eventual checkmate by just promoting and chilling with the queen up, okay? So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed these games. First game was just marvelous. First game is just hilarious. And this game, I honestly very enjoyed it. And I usually get very scared when I have like triple pawn or double pawn situation because I can always hear Gotham chess yelling in the back of my mind. Oh no, you can't double your pawns, you know? <laughs> uh, but here, you know, just don't be scared. Just try your best still and try to find the best moves in the position. Maybe you can still win even though you have tripled and four quadrupled pawns, okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This is your Chess Doctor weekly video and I'm going to see you all in the next week, okay? Make sure to like this video, watch it, comment your opinions in the, in the opinion comment section down below and if you want to uh, catch me live, make sure to go to kick.com kick.com slash kappa capetti, okay? If you want to donate, buy me a coffee.com slash kappa capetti. And guys, my birthday is very soon, 22nd September. You come on kick.com, we're celebrating my birthday live on my channel. So if you want to stop by, say hi, and come to a little party, make sure to, uh, to come by, okay? It's literally in one week, so... Uh, you are all invited guys, okay? I hope you're all gonna have a wonderful week and uh, thank you so much for watching me. Stay tuned for more content and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye. See you later alligators, bye.